Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this logo and they want to make a keychain somewhere close to this. I'm not going to do an outline. I'm going to do, uh, I think they just want the shape. But what I'm going to do first, this thing is almost three and a quarter inches long. I'm going to change my nudge factor to four. And I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard. I'm going to nudge it over with my right arrow key. And that's pretty important because then we're going to go to object and break the curve apart and you see what it did to it. But now we're able to put a boundary around it. So I'm going to put a boundary around it and then move the boundary over. That way we haven't messed up the logo like it is here. Now that we had a boundary, we're going to go to effects and contour. We're going to contour the outside with rounded corners 0.15. And he can decide whether he wants to do more or less. Then we're going to take that, go to object, and break the contour apart, and then take this item and nudge it back over the original and left or right click and make sure this is a cut it out and make it a red hairline. And then it'll, everything will engrave and the red hairline will be the shape that it'll cut out. And you can play with it a little bit, you know, because uh, it's got some pretty sharp edges maybe you know like right in there i would if you have x sub or above take the smoothing tool make it like a quarter inch big and click on that item and straighten out some of those rough edges uh, i would leave you know the ones that make the contour you know right in here that's pretty it just depends on you know the keychain or what you're thinking about you could maybe even try deleting those nodes you know, taking these two nodes and right clicking and make it a a line and then that, then you could take the shape tool and actually delete that note and it would just kind of change it up a little bit and not have that sharp breakable end there's a couple of double nodes you could delete you know all the double nodes i'd go and walk around and delete them uh, they're just nodes that are so close to the other ones that they're they'll show up as double nodes. and then it's just your preference where you're going to put the key the holder um like there's another node right there. We're going to delete both of them at work. You know, maybe go through and just delete some more. And, you know, you could just keep going on and on. My suggestion for the key holder, you don't really need this part. You could take a, you know, like a hole that's, um, you know, 0 0.125, like an eighth of an inch. I didn't have my ratio lock, so let's back up. Locker ratio, do it 1.25 turn it into a red hairline and make it a hairline. There we go. I right, had it open. And then you could kind of put it, you know, where you think you want it. But what I would do is take your shape tool and maybe delete these two nodes and get, get a little bit bigger item there. And, uh, you know, in this personal preference, just put it wherever you want. You want some pretty substantial um, wood here if you're going to cut this out of wood uh, so it won't break. And then just delete everything else you made and you have a keychain. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.